Lord, you brought us all the way out here to St. George, Utah to show us something. What do you got? Well, Bill, I'm super excited to have you guys here. You guys have been great partners for us. And yeah, we have a new announcement. Let me show you what we've got for you. Super excited. Let's do it. We don't need a destination. Let's go where the river's taking us. Mm -hmm. So here, Bill, we have the Teton X by Atlas Outdoors. This is an awesome uh, overlaying hybrid. Fits a family of four to five, possibly even six or seven in here. It's a great setup. We're super excited to announce our partnership now with Teton X um, as the exclusive distributor in the United States. So you've added a whole other brand uh, with Atlas Outdoors and their signature Teton X off-grid trailer. This thing, um, we've glanced around it a little bit here. This is truly another off-road adventure camper uh, to add to the Elite lineup at yeah. X-Grid. It really is. You know, Teton X has been building this trailer for a few years now, um, and they've been consumer direct. Uh, with the new ownership, they're looking to expand. They want to scale up a little bit, and so bringing on a dealer such as x who really understands the industry, um, has products in the space, we're involved with the community, really made for a good partnership. So we're excited to represent Teton X now. We're going to be out at all the expos this yep. year. We're going to be out traveling around it, obviously working with groups like yourself to get it out there, let people see this amazing vehicle. Yeah, we're excited about it too. but. Before we jump into this thing, we need to know a little bit more about it. And yeah. I understand that there's a resident expert here somewhere. Yeah, what I'd love to do is introduce you to Ricky Simonton. Uh, he's with Teton X here, and he's gonna show us around. Hey Rick, how you doing? Yeah, thanks for coming out. Yeah, so um, this is kind of your baby, right? Yeah, we love this thing, and everybody else that has one does too. So it's really exciting to get it out in front of more people. Uh, get you guys out and you'll see why everybody is so excited about it. So well, We're excited yeah. about it. Show us around. Yeah, I'd love to. Alright, Ricky, so tell me a little more about the Teton. I certainly we've had a chance to spend some time with it, but I want to I want to find out everything there is to know now about the Teton X. So uh, let's let's go with it. Sure. Yeah. So it's built for off grid um, kind of use, so you can get off road. So it's it's got plenty of clearance underneath. It's also got the expedition kick on the back, so you got plenty of clearance off the departure angle yeah. to to get through um, where you need to go. And it, standing inside, once you pop the roof up at camp, um, you, there's six and a half, maybe six foot eight clearance inside for standing room. Yeah. So that makes it really nice to pop. So so it really gives you a lot of flexibility, right? Absolutely. So you get it packed down because it's a hybrid. You have it packed down, possibly a seven foot garage can get in there depending on the setup there. Um, but you have what six and a half feet of clearance on the inside. Mm -hmm. So so the tallest, you know, most most people can get in there and have plenty of room. Right. Now tell me about the suspension. You guys do your own suspension, right? Yes. So what are we running on this one with this suspension? This is our custom Nomad suspension. It's a trailing arm suspension. So it's got the airbags and then dual shocks as well. You can raise and lower the suspension, which helps it a lot if you're just leveling at camp. It yeah. makes it really nice to just level it out really quick. Yeah. But it also on the trail, you can use it to soften it. If you, once you get off road, um, tighten it back up, raise it back up a little bit for the highway use. So Fantastic. it gives you lots of flexibility in where you're going. And you guys are building that in house then. We are, yes. So you control the entire process end to end on that. You have the fabrication, you have the manufacturing expertise to do all that. Right. So you own all that. That's great. That's fantastic. Well, it's nice to see a smaller hybrid with an air suspension. Sometimes we don't get that. You know, sometimes the air suspensions are reserved to the, the larger caravan. So it's great to have that in this right. unit. Yeah, that's, it's a favorite feature of ours. We do have other option that we offer, just a Timbrin okay. suspension that we just bolt on. We've seen a large majority of our customers get the air suspension though, yeah. just because it's the, the fan yeah. favorite here. So That's fantastic. Um, yeah. Tell me about the kitchen. This is a great setup. So we have kind of a nice wide kitchen, U-shaped. It seems very ergonomic in terms of how it's set up with the sink and the stove on this side, the kitchen and the prep area here. So walk me through everything here. Over here we've got our stove and sink set up. Um, this is kind of a new setup to just to this build. Um, we turned the, the stove this way and made it a little bit bigger. This is a Camp Chef stove. Uh, it's a 20,000 BTU burners and we've got our own windscreen that we put on here. As Let me well say it again, 20,000 BTU burners times two. Right. So two 20,000 BTU burners. So high elevation, bigger meals, a big pot, a stew, 
you can probably heat that up pretty easily. It'll, right? Yeah, that was one of the things that we, we wanted to make sure is that at elevation, um, wherever you needed to use it for whatever you need to use it for, yeah. um, it'll handle it. Excellent. Now, what is this? I, you know, you guys came out with this a long time ago, right? This has been around for a while, yeah. This setup. So tell me about this. Yeah, I mean, we've, we've reworked our kitchens lately. It's got the folded aluminum now with the powder coat on it. Uh, makes it look really nice, but one thing we didn't want to lose was this drawer. Uh -huh. And it seems it's just a drawer, but it's it's been just so like beloved by our customers. And, yeah. Um, it's so handy to have right here just all these utensils that you need. It's got uh, the organization in here. You can even fit the cups in here. And then but you get like you get the cups, right? And you get the utensils when you order this often, right? So really nice setup here, and everything is packed in. It's all laser cut, so everything fits. You have your slots for your forks and your knives and your spoons and your utensils. It's all there. Yeah, we try to put as much as we can in here in a orderly fashion. Right, right. And it just it makes it really easy to use. Yeah, that's another nice thing about this is that what the slide is fits in such a small door, uh -huh. but when it comes out, um, it spreads out and you've got a countertop back here. Um, you can actually put this, you can remove the grate off of the stove and you can fit the cutting board into that spot so that you can use that for prep area as well. You can close the sink and use this. Um, plenty of space to use um, however you want it. And it probably changes meal to meal even, yeah, yeah. what you're doing, so. Good. Yeah. And the sink, we have 30 gallons of water. 30 gallons of fresh water. Okay, yep. and the hot water heater is in there too, so. Yes. With hot water coming to the sink. Right, okay. yes. The water heater is optional. Um, you don't need the water heater, but it's, it's an option that most people add. And, and then on this side, we have the Dometic uh, dual zone. This is the CFX. This is 75, I believe that is. Yes. And this is for all the extra pantry items and pots and pans. We've got nesting cookware in here. Um, a 10 piece that it seems like it's like, where does it all go when it uh -huh. nests in here? And that's it all fits into this small. Wait, that's an option. You guys provide that? Right. Yeah. Oh, you're kidding, really? Yeah. Yeah. So you got a nesting cookware set that actually goes with the camper. Right. That's fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is just a slide out table that's that comes out from underneath. Uh, it just seems like there's always a uh, use for extra. Um, prep space or yeah. just somewhere to set something, you know, flat space to just spread out what you're doing. So, right. um, yeah, it's always nice to, so we just have this pull right out from underneath. 36 inches long, so it's, um, yeah, lots of space, space there. Space. Yeah. yeah, good. And we're covered up right here by the OVS, looks like the OVS 270 awning, right? And that's one of the standard options. It comes. The OBS awning comes with the base, mm -hmm. so um, and it's a 270 awning, so it's kind of, it's huge. It goes, yeah. it covers all the way around, like your prep area plus yeah. all the way around the back. So, right. Right. Um, yeah, it gives you lots of coverage for from the elements. Um, there's options to add walls on it if it's a if yeah. it's a rough day, a windy day, or whatever it is. But yeah, um, yeah, the wall kits on these are amazing because it really kind of blocks out you know the wind and the rain, but it also really helps for the uh, durability in windy conditions. You have that you know, wind that will go up over rather than lifting up underneath. So uh, really nice idea to have those wall kits when you have an awning like this. So Ricky, this is amazing to me. So this is a effectively a 10 foot cap, right? right? With a hybrid, again, plenty of height. I'm 5'11", got plenty of room here. So anyone that's 6'2", 6'3", again, plenty of, plenty of room. But there's a lot of space in here and you can sleep. This one's set up for sleeping four inside. Um, there's a ton of room. I can't believe this. Yeah, it, it is kind of wild how it seems pretty spacious and then you can spread it out into the sleeping area um, and it kind of is a super versatile interior. It's amazing what fits in here, plus we have the bunk air, the bunks available here and um, up the upper bunks in the back. The, right now this is set up, you can do a queen with space on each side or you can turn it and have a king setup, is that right? Right. Okay. Yeah. So if you want a king bed, you can still get that in here. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So it'd be the whole width and basically the whole length of the sleeping area is all covered with mattress. And then in addition to that, you have a twin effectively right here, uh, which goes above the slide and then also a twin bunk up above, but this can also be a double bunk. Yeah, okay. so the, the options for the upper bunks are 24 inch wide or 48 inches wide. The double is actually a pretty popular one because it yeah. just gives you so much extra sleeping space. And then the front one here is, um, again, optional. You don't need to have it if you don't need it, but yeah. it's, an, it's an easy spot to just throw a mattress and have somebody sleeping. If you do use that for a bunk, if great for a kid, you know, or even a, an adult that's not too large, you can have five people inside it. You would double up top, queen or king on the bottom, a single there, five people can sleep comfortably inside. Inside, okay. Yeah. But in here we have a furnace, we have an air conditioning system too. Tell us about the amenities. 
with optional cabinet. You can add a sink inside if you want. Don't need to, there's plenty of options for this. Water heater, heater inside. Keeps it nice and toasty in here. Air conditioning, um, you can just trade this out for a vent fan if you don't need air conditioning, but it's 12 volt air conditioning so you can run it off grid. So okay. that's super nice. That's a that's always kind of mind boggling for yeah. some of our customers to have the off grid capability of air conditioning. A 12 volt roof mounted air conditioning, again, in an 11, 10 foot hybrid. You know, again, some combinations here that we're not seeing a lot in the industry, which is what we're so excited about. So that's great. To power that though, we have to have some serious power, right? So, do, yeah. so what are we running on the power system? So in this one, we have a, a 2000 watt inverter charger. It's mm -hmm. a Victron, so it's a, it's the multi-plus, it's a excellent, okay. a excellent unit. It's just with all the, all the trailers, that's the standard. Okay. Um, and then the battery power, it goes up to 270 amp hours. That's what goes in pretty much all of them. It's a Battleborn okay. battery. Okay. So um, those have been excellent as well. Yep. So we're running Victron gear. We're running the Victron multi-plus 2000. We're running the Game Changer 270 Battleborn. And we're running the Victron solar and MP and uh, DC to DC, is that right? That's correct. Now tell us about this cabinet here, because there's some options for this, right? There are options, okay. yeah. So the sink, we get, some customers look at it and say, what do you need a sink inside for? I got one, one outside. Uh -huh. So then they go out and use it, and they're like, wow, the sink inside is really nice. It is, it's just a cool, like an extra option. If you're brushing your teeth at night, it's, it's nice to have right here. Uh -huh. um, or just if you don't want to pull the kitchen out on a rough day, um, it's nice to have a sink inside. If you don't want it though, you can just make this into a wood countertop mm -hmm. and then use four drawers here. Um, okay. Or you can just take the whole cabinet out and you can use that, you can leave it empty if you want. Um, there's another option for a hidden toilet. Um, and that's a pretty nice, even if you don't want to keep the toilet inside, some people still take it. Right. Because it's just a, it's kind of a cool option because it gives you extra bench space. You would, you almost don't know it's there because it just looks like it's the extension of the bench. Okay. So it just gives you more space sitting area inside. Yeah. And then the lid opens up, you can have your toilet in there, the doors open up the front. Okay. You have a toilet in, the, in there or just use it for storage. So you can so. use the toilet in that position if you want to. You can. Okay. Yes. All right. Yep. And it's a cassette style toilet with a, yes. with a waste container. Right. Okay. Yep. Excellent. And around here, you have a Molly panel in front. The, the, the front of the camper itself is covered with the Mollies as well. Molly panels are just, uh, it's a universal type um, panel that it's, it's just so nice to have a place to put stuff. Now, what is this right here? Is that a storage uh, shelf? What it do you is. have there? Yeah. So this is, um, these are drop down if you want to use the, the shelves. Um, and that's, they've got a lip on the front. It's not going to slide off when you're traveling. Right. Um, but I mean, if you've got someone sleeping here or if you want to access the fridge, you can just pull them out of the way. Yeah. Um, and there are, then you can access your fridge underneath here. Oh my gosh. We so didn't even talk about that. Did we? <laughs> wait, so wait a minute. So the fridge rolls in. Late night snack, eat hungry, open up that, slide in there, grab the fridge. Exactly. Okay. And the fridge can be, it's a dual zone, because it can be freezer as well, so that means you also have ice cream. Here we have, again, this is the queen bed folded up right now, the way we have it. So it gives us room for living, but we're sitting in the dinette area right here, mm -hmm. right? So it looks like there's a lagoon table? There is, yes. Okay. So you can sit down here on the platform and have a family of three or four sitting around the table probably pretty comfortably. Right. Yep. The lagoon table is nice because it moves around, but it also acts. It's a multi-purpose thing. It acts as the the, the platform. The platform that the bed is on. Got it. Too. Okay. Again, Ricky, we have the control panel right here. The switch yes. panel for everything. So yep. walk us through what what's here. The switch panel. It's not labeled, so pe some people um, think it's a little intimidating, but it really isn't. About about after two trips, you um, you got to have it all figured out. So these are the the interior lights here. And then, um, so you've got front and rear zones in the interior that uh -huh. you can, and the nice thing about all these light switches is they're all dimmable. Oh, nice. So, um, um, and then you've got rock lights here on the outside, and then you've got exterior lights. These are all the way around. Okay. And those are the lights around, um, just to light up at, at night around your camp. Excellent. Um, and then we've, here we've got the, this row is all dedicated to the air compressor and the air suspension. So you just turn on your air compressor here, okay. and then you have each of these, um, paddles will control the airbags independently. Okay. So you can raise and lower the left side or the right side. Excellent. Yep. And then on the bottom we have a water pump and then um, we have some room for experimenting here. Um, this is a demo unit. So um, this, um, I guess we'll, um, we have some ideas for it. Okay. Um, not exactly, we can't, I guess, say what it is yeah, yet. Yeah, not quite yet. We'll uh, get there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, and then we've got the perimeter lights as well. So those are the big lights on the roof rack that can light up. The exterior More than lights. just the campsite. Yeah. Okay. 
All right, and is that an option then that people yes. can order with it? Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. And obviously you have the Truma controller here for the furnace. Yep. Okay. And That's for the furnace and the water heater. And the hot water yep. heater, yeah. And then uh, the Victron battery monitor right, right. there. Yep. And then obviously we use the app a lot for the Victron's on lap control too, which is mm -hmm. nice. Excellent. All right, so, so tell us now across the front, again, we've got the Molly panels, looks like lots of storage. So this opens up here and look at that tons of space in there to put all your gear and equipment all your dirty stuff right right yeah it's a huge box and this is a new custom box that we build in-house now we added it so that it would follow the tongue it's got the gas shocks on it yeah um, but it's a nice big box it's great and people always we're always looking for places to put gear uh, your bucket and your chocks and your hoses and stuff like that you know wall kits would fit in here very well you know yeah. um, so a lot of a lot of room there which is fantastic Again, you have the Molly panels on the front, so I could see traction boards being mounted here, axe, recovery equipment, that sort of thing. We also have uh, Molly panels on the side of the box, roto packs, the other things like that that you can put on the sides of the box. We're running the ARC 750, the Cruise Master D35 hitch, uh, probably some of the two best products in this uh, overland space. Wouldn't you agree? I do agree. They do an excellent job and they you just never worry about them. Tell us about the frame. Two by five box um, frames, steel chassis that's all sealed and then powder coated. So it's built for strength and um, it does exactly that. Excellent, and that runs all the way down. There's no skid plates underneath because we don't see the need to do that. Um, there's not really anything underneath that can that's a low hanging fruit, if okay. you will. So it's all pretty well protected under there. We've got the floorboards under there that are all Linex. It's built to handle the trails already yeah, without yeah. the skid plates. And this is an output for your air compressor, right? That is, yeah. You've got the onboard air compressor for the air suspension. Uh -huh. And since it's onboard anyway, you might as well be able to use it for um, like your air tools if you're airing up um, or airing down your tires on the trail uh -huh. and everything, yeah. everything like that. So um, it's nice to have it in kind of a central location between your vehicle and the trailer. Perfect. So you can run the hose in all directions. So just hook it up. Um, yeah, it gives you some, some more flexibility. Excellent. We're on the driver's side of the trailer now, and this is pretty incredible. We have the double wide dual cut shower enclosure. So why do you need a double wide shower? Walk me through that. <laughs> it does seem like overkill, but it's really nice. Okay. And it's all, um, so it's just a little bit more for the double and it's not, we have options for a single as well, sure. but the double is just, it, it gives you an extra dry room. You okay. can also have it if you want your toilet outside, oh, you can okay. have the toilet in its own room. You don't have to worry about moving it in and out if yeah. you don't have showers. So. Yeah. Um, you have the one side for the shower, and the Julka is nice. It um, it's it's pretty easy to open and close, it, like a quick in and out. Sure. Um, and it's got all the little features inside with uh, um, like a dry zone for your towel and yeah. um, different things like that. Yeah, so. It's it's nice. Yeah, you open it up, you've got this area. Like I say, you see a dry zone in there, and then the showers up there. This is the uh, bullfinch connector, stop connector, uh, and then there's a pass through. You know, as we walk through. So if you want to go into that area, you can whether you're using the toilet or even as a dry off area. Right, so yep. yeah, it's really a neat setup. And you have plenty of room for this on this trailer because you have the length, you can mount a larger enclosure like this. Right, yes. Nice. One of the advantages to that Joker is the, the roof. I want to highlight that too. Yeah, yeah. when people fly drains over top of you, literally it happens. While you're taking a shower. <laughs> <laughs> so well, let's hit that real quick then, okay. Um, so now with this, shower loader too, you have a roof option, right? Have you seen people use that? It comes with the roof, yeah. Okay. So there's a roof for both of these. I, we haven't rolled up right now, but uh -huh. um, yeah, that's another option. Just give you added privacy, or if it's raining, I, I mean, if you're, on, you're in the toilet yeah. and it's raining, yeah. um, you've got a roof over your head. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then that, it, it, full, it comes down the front okay. and fully encloses the, sh the shower. So yeah. that's a really nice extra option. For yeah. If, yeah. Um, just give you the full security when you yeah. Well, it's nice. I mean, as much as we all want to be away from people and off grid, it's not always the case, right? There's going to be people around. You never know. Someone could be flying a drone when they're out there and having that privacy, you know, with the roof is fantastic. Right. Very good. And if you establish the low ground in the camp area, then yeah. um, other people might be higher up. Exactly. All right, so we're at the rear of the trailer now. We've got a storage compartment back here. Uh, great spot, put some extra gear, maybe the shower stuff. Is that what you're typically using it for? Yep. Power. Yep. It's nice because it's right next to the shower. You've got you can put your power adapter there for the shore power. Yeah. Um, it's a nice spot for just things like that. It's um, 
an actually pretty reasonable size storage area. Yeah. So, I mean, storage is always a premium in a trailer this size. Yeah. So yeah, it's awesome to have an extra storage good, area. Good compartments. Again, you have molly cam off the rear, uh, spare tire off the rear, the coverage by the 270 awning. And we have floodlights all the way around. You mentioned that earlier on the switch panel. So you have floodlight options around the top so you can really light up the entire campsite here. Right, yeah. Yeah, and it's those, they're the rigid industries um, floodlights up on top of the roof rack. So yeah, yeah those, are, those are awesome to really get to see what you're doing around. Yeah. Well, Ricky, we are very excited about representing you guys. We appreciate the partnership that we've had already. Uh, we're looking forward to getting the trailer out on the trails getting it out to all the expos um, and we can't thank you for enough for your trust in extra campers um, we're going to have it out we'll have it in both of our showrooms we'll have a demo in each location in las vegas as well as knoxville so for customers that want to come see it give it a uh, give it a run please come out and visit us there uh, we'd love to have them out um, and show everyone this fantastic off-road trailer so thank you very much thank you